every morning I would wake up and I would see this thing, which is yeah. change requires action. If Correct. I want something different, I yeah. have to do something. So why did I want to go into trading would be uh, to get a little bit of extra financial security, no? I still had a full-time job. I also had a small business I was running and I was in my early 20s trying to have a life. Today, we are joined by the lovely Tina. So thank you for joining us. Hi. Yeah. It is quite intense, you know, in the beginning to manage to get to, to wrap your head around everything. Um, but I'm, I'm staying committed to it because it's something that I really would like to and yeah. it's something that I've been interested to do for quite some time, so yeah. One thing I would say to everyone is perfection is not the goal. Progress is the goal. Hello everybody and welcome to the Star Trading Podcast with me, Lewis. And me, Sophie. And today we are joined by the lovely Tina, so thank you for joining us. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Tina said she's very nervous because this is way out of her comfort zone. So, big round of applause for stepping out of comfort Thank zone. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, just to kick us off, um, let us know a little bit about you, um, who you are, and why you wanted to get into trading. All right. Yeah, I can do that. So, I'm Tina. Uh, I just, um, I, uh, I'm a mother of two. I'm working full time. I have just started a, a new adventure of co-parenting with the kids' ex, or with the kids' dad. Mm -hmm. So that's a big change that happened recently in my life. But yeah, so why did I wanted to go into trading would be uh, to get a little bit of extra uh, financial security, you know, for yeah. the new phase of my life. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Yeah. So you're fairly new into star trading. Yeah. We were only about a month into the process. Mm -hmm. So how has that month been? What does that look like for you? Is it more than you're expecting? Is it less than you're expecting? How's it kind of been for you? I mean, before I actually joined, I, I took a quite some time to you do did. my... <laughs> A little bit of due diligence. Which is it? brilliant. I and mean, we're so happy that you did do that. <laughs> I asked some some very strange questions, maybe, but yeah. And so I kind of had a rough idea. I reached out to you as well, Sophie, on Instagram to get a rough idea about how much time I had to put aside in the beginning of the training so I could actually already proactively planned this in and set this aside. So I had a rough idea about it already, which was good um, because there's a lot of spinning plates at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, it is quite intense, you know, in the beginning to manage to get to, to wrap your head around everything. Um, but I'm, I'm staying committed to it because it's something that I really would like to. And yeah. it's something that I've been interested to do for quite some time. So, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. So one question that we often get asked is, well, how can I fit this in around everything else I've got going on in my life? And you are some, and we talked about this the other day, actually, <laughs> didn't we? So we, we, uh, we do work with people who are very busy, whether that's full-time jobs, co-parenting, single parenting, or just having kids in general in, <laughs> yeah. uh, in a relationship where you're both still together is still a lot, right? Yeah, Especially yeah. if you're both working. So yeah. what are the kind of things that you're doing to help you make the time and find the time to start the process of this learning and, and mastering this skill set yes to, to just be planning to make time for it no so because it's all about the logistics and the priorities that uh, that that you do i think so because if it doesn't if it's not planned it's not getting done right yeah. so that's why so I've created, it, it's going to sound really silly now, but I've created a two weeks planning where the weeks where I have the kids and when the weeks where I don't have the kids, I make sure that I have a, a slot for the trading and to revise and study already there in place so that it's there. So Jeez. I know that I uh, have the time to do what I want to do. Yeah. So so it, it's not getting pushed aside with the everyday madness that yeah, we yeah. normally have to yeah. deal with. No, so. Yeah. I don't think that sounds silly at all. I think that sounds absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. And I, think, I mean, I'd be interested to hear how you kind of made time when you started as well. So for me, I I wasn't, didn't have everything going on that you had going on, but 
I still had a full-time job. I also had a small business I was running and I was in my early 20s trying to have a life. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I did the same thing. I was like, right, this is my time to do this. For me, it was earlier in the morning. So I did get up earlier than I wanted to. Spent about half an hour of my trading. And then if I had more time, I'd do something in the evening after I finished work and doing everything else I was yeah. doing. But I remember I printed off when I first started it. Uh, two signs one which is i am now a trader mm. i might have told you this before and i stuck that on my desk in my little room in my house share uh, or flat mm. share and then another one i put above my bed which is change requires action yes so every morning i would wake up and i would see this thing which is yeah. change requires action if Correct. i want something different i yeah. have to do something yes different. and it was always challenging seeing i was like no i'd rather go to bed i'd rather stay in bed but and some days that won and mm -hmm. i did stay in bed but more days than not i got out of bed and i think one thing i would say to everyone is perfection is not the goal progress is the goal Correct. so yeah. if you have a day where like the kids are crazy <laughs> like work is crazy and you don't want to deal with anything you just want to have a glass of wine or whatever it may be then that's okay yeah. like let's stop yeah like, making this thing out that we're all going to be perfect we're all going to be so good at this from day one but if we have it as a priority and we make it so we do the right thing more often than we do the wrong thing and i don't mean right or wrong i just mean doing the thing to move you forward versus the thing that should keep you in the same, same place, place yeah. then you're winning you really <laughs> yeah. are and you are winning like i know we're only a month in but you've made real progress yes we're not where we want to be just yet but we wouldn't expect you to be after a month either yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I'm committed because I'm I'm doing the back testing now, mm -hmm. so I'm committed at least to find ten back tests um, per week, so that I can have it prepared for our group coaching, which is great, by the way. But I can clearly notice on my back testing when I'm trying to push myself because I'm too tired or yes. something like this. The quality of my back yes. trading just yeah. goes and just goes. Okay, you know, <laughs> let's focus on quality instead of quantity, which yes. is absolutely mm. right. And this week I actually committed to myself to say, okay, do a little bit every day and try not to push yourself. And I can see already the f at least the first five, yeah. <laughs> much, much better quality. So, so yeah. Yeah, I think we've all done that. It's like, oh, I've got group coaching tomorrow. Yeah. I've only done five. Yeah. I need to find five right now. Yeah. And you're like yeah. zooming through going, could this be one? Yeah, yeah you can in. squeeze Josh it Josh would much yeah. rather see five than 10 trends. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or even three good ones. Yeah. And just be honest, like, look, I didn't have the time. Like we do want more, mm. so let's try and put the time in to get to them. But mm. the quality is always going to be better. Mm -hmm. And a slight side note here to like go a little bit more advanced, but if you're back testing and you have low quality, you may have a hundred back tests, but if they're all bad quality, meaning they don't meet the strategy criteria, yeah. you've not back tested mm. one strategy, no. you've back tested potentially a hundred different strategies because they're not meeting the criteria. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And that does not help anybody. No, 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 absolutely. And it's, it's also like a little bit of a mind shift for myself to be a bit kinder to myself to say, okay, if I don't complete the 10 back tests that I'm committed to and put a goal for myself that I should deliver, you know, it's okay, you know, yeah. it's okay. It's better you focus on the quality rather than the quantity. So. Yeah. Because it, in the end, it will help yeah. myself advancing quicker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so with your education and your commitment to it, mm. you have um, invested in yourself. Yes. You've gone for our platinum mentorship. Correct. Which is not just £500, not just £1,000, like, if we're being honest. Yeah. So how has that investment in yourself, do you think, motivated you or... Um, what impact has that had on your level of commitment and your desire to do this? What made you willing to go for that? I mean, um, I, I've been researching quite of different options. And yeah, it is, it's quite of a big chunk of investment that you invest in yourself. But then the way I thought about it is that if I'm not prepared to invest in myself, how can I expect um, the change that I am looking for? And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, when I when I <laughs> completed the payment, it was a bit of a... Yeah. I can't, I <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a deep breath there, but then, okay, I said, you know what, I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's yeah. now or never. There's no point for me putting it off anymore. I've researched, I don't know how many different things, and I've 
checked and done all of this. This is, this is the time. And then I, I took a, a deep breath and I went for it. And because it, it was that level of commitment or that level of investment, it has also brought my level of commitment, I believe. Yeah. So because yeah. it does that. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. Because then it kind of forces me as well to, to prioritize it because... Yeah. It is. It is this investment, and if if this is the investment, I need to put in the effort for yeah. to get the most of it out. You know, completely, mm. completely. Mm. And I'm always so proud of people who do that because that's what I did. We talked mm. about this on um, a podcast we did. That's exactly what I did. I went big, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I now have to make this work. And it it does create that engagement and that prioritization element. Yeah. Um, so you made that decision. Obviously, when you first um uh did that you deep breath what have i just done <laughs> yes. so now we've kind of breathed through that and we're about a month in how are you feeling about having made that decision do you feel like it was the right decision yes 100 percent. like yeah. i i very often almost not daily but very often i think back at it and i think i'm so happy that i finally made this decision you know because i can finally uh, feel like i'm on the way on my way to mm. to work on the change and, and the newer yeah. version of my life that i'm dreaming about because i could have easily done when i went through the the separation and so on i could have easily gone down you know the traditional route to take some money and put it in as a deposit and invest in a property and have a mortgage and continue working you know, the regular rat race and, mm. and so on. But then I said, you know what, I don't want to do this my entire life. I would yeah. rather take this money, invest in myself and work on my asset column, like yeah, yeah. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki is saying, right? Because, yeah, because if I would like to have something different, I need to do something different. And therefore, I need to also be brave to go ahead and believe in myself and to do this. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm absolutely loving everything you're saying. And my question is, because what you're saying for me, and I don't know if you agree, Sophie, but you're demonstrating a, a really powerful mindset and my question is where did you kind of develop that mindset and that willingness like have you always been that way is it through reading and personal development like what's kind of got you to having the kind of view um investing in yourself and everything that you've got now um i don't know really <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've uh, invested and listened and read a lot of personal development over the past few years, or three years or something like this. And maybe there the mind sh shift uh, has happened over, you know, educating myself yeah. first. Um, and, and from there, yeah, take the leap because before I probably was stuck thinking, you know, the traditional uh, that you... I have a, a good level of studies and then you get a good job, you earn quite okay and then, you know, I invest in the property and then you yeah. get two kids in a house, right? But then, you know, and I started reflecting on it and I said, I want to be living in a different life and have much more freedom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially have more freedom to spend time with my kids. Yeah. Because, yeah, they are four and eight and I don't want to miss so much of their life. No? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to spend more time with them. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and I, I think a lot of the star training community are similar. They're very family orientated. Yeah. Yeah. Very family orientated. Yeah. What did it feel like joining a community that you'd never been part of before? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a very warm atmosphere and everyone is so helpful and so open. And I mean, you guys uh, are amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so it, it was a very easy, easy, um, you know, transition into the community as such. Yeah. And I, although maybe now at the moment, I don't have so much to contribute. <laughs> to Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, exactly. But hopefully later on, I can also give something back. Yeah. No? So, Amazing. but what I like about the community, even though that you are mm, maybe back testing very late, or if you have a question or anything like that, there's always someone that quite quickly get back to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is amazing. So you don't like wait for uh, someone to get back to you with an answer or anything like that when you have a question like quite fresh in your head. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs>
Um, snack time? Yeah. Are you ready for so. some snacks? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so we've got, to do the, we've got to do our magic. Okay. So, three, two, one. Wow, there we go. Wow, yeah. look. Oh, look this is looking interesting. Yeah. Yes. This is strategy number four, magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah. wait to learn when that one. Yeah, when you reach this level. Good. <laughs> right, so. Right, let's see what we've got. We're, gonna, we're not going to tell you who brought what. Okay. So you get to decide the winner. Yeah, I... Oh, what are we having here? So, oh, I can see that I like the one with the strawberries already. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So yeah, we've got some strawberry laces which look fizzy, mm. and then we've got we some sour. soft eating apricots. Oh yeah, interesting. No, like to, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, I'll open these ones. Can I guess who brought who? You can yeah. Guess away, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So see. who do you think brought what? So um, uh, I'd say that the apricots uh, is from Lewis. Okay. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you later tell you when that. we find out who wins. I love the level of non-commitment there. Yeah. I'm committed to my mentorship, though. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's the important one. Right, so you can try one. Of, are you happy to? You don't have to eat these if you don't want to. No, no, I'm definitely yeah. anything. Will you eat next one? No, I'll eat next one. Mm. I've eaten worse. <laughs> That wasn't a sexual thing. I meant the egg that Simon brought last time. <laughs> so the the, therefore, I think it was correct that I changed my mind. I think you brought the strawberries then on your comment there. Maybe. Right. Maybe. So out of 10, how do you rate the apricots? Taste and surprise combined. A surprise, I would say a 10. I wasn't expecting it. It was... Expecting something, yeah, like that. Taste, mm, it's not my go to snack, maybe. But it's still all right. Seven, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. So maybe an eight out of ten in total. Uh, right. One of these. Harry Boat. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> Sticks. Zing. <laughs> Zing. Zing sticks. Yeah. <laughs> you have to stick your There you go. <laughs> oh, it's quite long. It's a long lace. I've got eight cot trapped in my throat. How long? Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Right, there we go. Oh. Mm, I like these ones. Mm. Ten so, out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Awesome. They, I like this they, but you were less surprised by this, mm. which I think should bring the straw right down. <laughs> so I was the strawberries. Mm, I see. Mm. And Sophie was the apricots. Mm. This tastes like stale sherbet to me. Mm. No, 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 this one's a rice. Mm. Oh, I like All right, well, on that note, thank you very Wait, much. Wait, what's the score for these? Oh, mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. For the taste as well. I like these. I can easily eat the whole packet. <laughs> That's the most childish I've ever seen you. What? Fine, you win. <laughs> Fine. Because I won. So thank you very much for <laughs> letting me win. Um, these are definitely better than the apricots. I know the apricots are technically healthier. Yeah. Um, we don't have health as a score factor, so. I mean, to be fair, as a mother, I would probably give the apricots. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I mean, that's good to know. Um, um, <laughs> And then I would secretly eat the apples. Yeah, for yourself, yeah. yeah. So I'm morally, I would. Morally, you would. Yes. Yes, you did. Did you? <laughs> so, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this episode of the Star Trading Podcast. We will see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>